And we are live. Welcome, everyone. My name is Michael Mataluni. I'm the executive director of the Photography Academy. I'm also going to be your host here today on this incredible masterclass. Tim Shields, my goodness, uh, what an amazing thing you've put together here today. Welcome. Yeah, so awesome to be here. I'm so excited because we are going to be giving away some really awesome photography gear today. Uh, it's something we did one month ago. It was super successful. We had a bunch of winners and uh, who are really excited to be having their photography products and they've all received them. And uh, so we're going to do the same thing again today, but you have to be live in order to win. Absolutely. And so as we get started here, uh, we've got an amazing presentation for you today. We've got a lot to teach you. So make sure you do me a favor, turn off any notifications you have, anything outside that's going to distract you because we're going to be doing a live Q&A here at the end today where you're going to get to pick Tim's brain, ask him any questions you have about photography, about post-processing, anything that's on your mind. So make sure you say hello in the comment section, tell us where you're from, and we'll get started here in just a few seconds. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see actually where everybody is coming in from and so if you can leave a comment let us know where you're tuning in from in photography academy we have photographers from literally all over the world we have uh, many from north america lots from europe lots from in asia australia new zealand and it's just so cool to be able to see in the chat where everybody is from i see lonnie from california rick from oh i just i think he was from british columbia rachel <laughs> from so fast uh, I think it was Quebec, but the comments are whipping through so fast. We got somebody in Rome, uh, Sam from Boise, Idaho. Great to have you, Sam. Yeah, and really cool. Sure you, make sure if you're on YouTube, click the click the like button. If you're on Facebook, make sure you click share. So we want to get this out to as many people as possible. Say hello. Tell us where you're from. We've got off remotes from Israel. We've got uh, Tennessee, the Big Apple in the house, Colorado, Canada, Brisbane, uh, Tampa, Florida, just truly a worldwide audience. And I'm so excited today because one of the most powerful things that you can do in your photography is get past that plateau, whatever it is for you. Everybody's got a little place where they get stuck. And today's presentation is specifically created to get you unstuck. Yeah, that's exactly right. And one of the big things in my own photography, which I'm going to tell you about uh, in a couple of minutes, is just the fact that often our photography becomes stagnant. It gets stale and we're not improving. We're not learning new things. And our photos, as a result, come out as being kind of boring, kind of average, kind of amateur. And I'm going to be showing you a simple easy to use four step system today that you can use. And uh, if nothing else, you're going to come out of this presentation motivated and inspired and remembering again, all the reasons why you love photography and what it does for you as a person. Absolutely. And we want to help you explore, create, and inspire. We want to help you get out into the world and utilize your photography for something great, a greater purpose than yourself. And part of that is in the inspiration that you can have on others. And that's a really important point here. Another thing to mention is that we do have somebody actually said, anyone here from Antarctica? And we actually do have people who are in this process, who are in this training, who are from all seven continents, including Antarctica. Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, we have someone in the Photography Academy community who is at an ice station, literally at the South Pole. And uh, that is so awesome. That actually, it warms my heart to know that. So really, really cool. All seven continents. So I think we're going to get rolling here. And um, I'm going to share my screen. And hopefully all this tech works. You know, when we're giving a live stream, we're broadcasting simultaneously on Facebook and YouTube right now. And to get the tech working for these things is no small task. So bear with us if uh, bear with us if we if we have a little bit of a glitch. Yeah, and as you're doing that, as you're pulling that up, uh, again, just say hello. Tell us where you're from. Um, uh, you know, we've got uh, we're about five minutes in here, so we want to make sure we're maximizing your time. So we're gonna dive right in. Yeah. Okay. So presenter view. And am I am I in full view here? No, you're not. I think you clicked presenter view, or yeah, yeah I think okay. you clicked presenter All right. view. So I'll just go, go back, back one, and I'll just do, do the one. other view. I just got to hit escape. Just go present. There we go. Am there I full screen now? You are full screen. 
Okay, well, let's get rolling here. So the title of this presentation is how to take gorgeous photos with the camera that you already own in just four easy steps. And really, it's just like following a recipe in the kitchen. So the goal here today is to help you take your own incredible photos that you'll be so proud of that you'll want to print them large and hang them on the wall in your home. This is something that I've done personally. My wife has done it as well. Our living room is plastered with really large format prints like the one that you see here. And it feels so good to have your own art that you've created in wide format on your wall at home, let me assure you of that. Now there are three roadblocks to your success here. Number one, you think you need to understand all the technical photography theory. I'm here to tell you, you don't. There is definitely a much more simple way. Number two, you think you need all the latest camera gear, you don't. Number three, you think you need to understand every setting on your camera, that's just impossible, no one does. You don't need to do that. There is an easier way. Taking gorgeous photos can be confusing and elusive, but there is an easier way, and I'm here to show that to you today. So we have an exciting draw at the end of this presentation, and I'm going to be giving away some really, really awesome stuff. Actually, I'm just going to go full screen here. I'm going to show you in, in real time. Uh, Michael, can you just make me go full screen? Yep. You, you've got the power. So yep. this is the backpack. This is a, a low pro powder backpack. It's a hiker's photography backpack. I This is the one that I bought actually, and my wife uses it. And all your gear goes into the back of the, of the backpack, which I really love that type of a setup. It's got all the cool stuff such as a water bottle holder on one side. You gotta have that. Keep your water bottle on the outside of your pack. You don't wanna be digging around for it on the inside. It's got um, a tripod holder on the other side. It's got really nice wide straps. And it's also got, and this I love, really nice wide uh, waist strap to take all the weight of your stuff. And it's got little pockets on the waist, st waist strap like to put your cell phone and everything. As well, we've got a super high quality Lexar SD card. Now, why I say high quality, it's all about the read and write speed on your SD cards. This is a 300 megabytes per second transfer speed so it's like lightning fast and that means if you are taking photos of a bird in flight and you've got your camera in rapid fire mode and you're going click 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 well your camera will not buffer because this is such a fast memory card this is a 190 dollars memory card also and this is my favorite a portable hard drive this is a samsung one terabyte portable hard drive and this is something that you need to be using. You need to be backing up your photos because if you are relying on your laptop's hard drive to save your photos, it's a big mistake. At some point, your hard drive is going to fail you and you could lose all your photos. So you need to be backing them up. And finally, a Manfrotto mini tripod. I love this thing. It's super light, so it goes in your camera bag. You, you don't even notice that it's there. And if you're ever in a place where you're not allowed to use a tripod, or if you want to get your camera really, really low to the ground, like you're taking pictures of sand ripples on a beach, for example, this is what you need. So we're going to give away all of this. And in order for you to qualify to be a winner today live with us, you need to do one thing right now. And that is that you need to post a comment in the chat because we're going to be choosing a name from the chat. That's how we know that you're here. So here's what I want you to post. Don't just post yet. Notice on my t-shirt, the motto of Photography Academy, it says, explore, create, inspire. So choose which one kind of resonates with you the most, and that's what I'd like to put, like you to put in the chat. I am an explorer, or I am a creator, or I love inspiring others. Take your pick, one of those things, one of those three, drop it in the chat right now. I am an explorer, or I am a creator, or I love inspiring others. Then your name will be in the chat, and uh, that is how we're going to know. Uh, that's how we're going to pick a name. Are you looking forward to this, Michael? I'm excited, man. Yeah. So um, as well, uh, make sure that you're here at the end because we're going to call out your name. And if you're not here, then we will call out another name, and someone else is going to get 
what you just want. Yeah, and we've had this before, guys. We've done this once before, and it was very sad because the person who was supposed to have won didn't put in their name. They didn't put in anything in the no, comments section. No, they didn't stay. Section. They didn't oh, stay. It, they didn't stay, right? Yeah, they were gone, and we were calling out the name over and over again. So like, do Paris not Bueller's leave. Day off. Bueller, 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 <laughs> and uh, Bueller wasn't there. Yes, please do not leave. Make sure you, you add your comment now. Let us know what you are. If you're a creator, uh, somebody who inspires others, or an explorer, make sure you put that in the chat now and don't leave. Yeah, okay, awesome. So back to the presentation. And uh, I think that's looking good. Michael, make uh, sure click, it's- uh, present, Click present and then uh, presenter. Click on Pres present, yep. yes, of course. Yep. Okay, yep. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, so um, we've covered that. So everyone is going to get uh, a copy of my newest book. This is called 29 landscape photography secrets that you must know. And at the very end of this presentation, we'll, we will be dropping a link into the chat so that you will have a literally an instant download for this book. And this is a great book. We've already given away uh, numerous thousands of the book. It's got excellent reviews and I think that you're going to love it. So my goal for this web class, is to show you that creating gorgeous photos is easy when you have been taught a simple series of steps that you can use just like a recipe in the kitchen. And you can use those steps to take every picture that you will ever take for the rest of your life. I'm also, I have the goal to show you that the fastest and easiest way to create your own stunning photos is through the photography transformation four step system. So why should you listen to me? Well, my name is Tim Shields. I am the founder of Photography Academy. I'm the author of the Photo Cookbook. I'm the creator of the Photography Transformation Four-Step System, and I have achieved the designation of Master Photographer in Fine Art from Master Photographers International. So I bought my first SLR camera when I was literally 13 years old. It's sitting beside me on my desk right now. It still works, but in my adult years, I had a startling discovery. Even though I had been taking pictures for decades as a hobbyist photographer, and I thought my photos were pretty good, I actually discovered that I really did not know how to take great looking landscape photos. So here is what happened. I had always seen amazing photos of the Grand Canyon, and I wanted to take my own really great Grand Canyon photos. I've always considered the Grand Canyon to be one of the most amazing places on earth and I wanted to capture the beauty of that incredible place. So one spring, 11 years ago, I drove my family all the way to the Grand Canyon with the intent of getting some awesome landscape photos that I could print and put on the wall at home. I planned for the trip carefully and of course I brought my camera and my tripod. So then suddenly there I was, I was standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon with my camera in my hand. I was so excited to be finally there. I looked out across the big vista and I saw a million things I wanted to photograph. So I started taking pictures, click, 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 click. And this is one of the first pictures that I took on that day. I was clicking away and taking photos in all directions. I would mentally say, oh wow, look at that little tree sticking out over the edge click. Oh, wow. Look at that grand expanse. Look at that view. Click. Oh, wow. It looks so, so cool over there too. Click. But when I reviewed my photos later that day, I was so disappointed because none of them looked like the actual view that I could see with my eyes. It didn't look like the same thing that I saw while I was there. So my solution was what I thought was to be the answer. My solution was to wait until sunset for another round of photos. And then when it was sunset, I was back in position on the edge of the Grand Canyon and I started firing away. So I took this picture looking directly into the sunset. And for this photo, the canyon, like the earth, the, the foreground was completely black, which meant I could not use the photo. So then in the second photo, the sky was completely washed out and overexposed. So once again, I couldn't use the photo. So later that night, I combined those two photos into this HDR image uh, using my laptop. And the result was so disappointing for me, even though at the time I thought it was pretty good, but it kind of looks like the Grand Canyon after a nuclear apocalypse. It's just overdone, overprocessed. And I was so 
frustrated and angry with myself. I felt like a total failure because I realized I actually did not have what it takes to be able to create gorgeous photos. I started walking around looking for something interesting and I couldn't find anything that was interesting. So there I was on the edge of one of the wonders of the world at sunset with my camera to my eye and I could not really figure out what looked good as a finished landscape photo. I had no system to use. It was all like by guess and by golly. So when we left the Grand Canyon and drove to Las Vegas, which was the next stop on our trip, something super important happened to me in my photography journey. We were walking around a shopping mall in the Venetian Hotel and I happened to see a photography gallery by a famous photographer named Peter Lick. So Peter Lick is the most well-known and most successful landscape photographer in the world with 15 of his galleries located in the most affluent cities across the world. And when I walked into his gallery and I saw his wide format prints on the wall, my jaw literally dropped. I had never seen anything like it. I didn't know what was possible until I walked into that gallery. His saturated and his contrasty images of simple and beautiful compositions literally left me speechless. I couldn't believe my eyes. That was when I literally saw what was possible. So I made a vow to myself. The vow was, I am going to learn this. And I carried that feeling of walking into Peter Lick's gallery with me back home. And I began a years long research project where I read books, I took courses, I watched videos, and then I tried new techniques. I failed, I tried again, I failed again, but I just kept trying and trying until one day I had my aha moment and the light bulb turned on. And funny enough, it happened in the kitchen. Now in the kitchen, we have, we're very familiar with the term master chef. We have master chefs who create award-winning dishes, but what about me? Could I on my own create an award-winning dish in the kitchen? Absolutely no way. It's impossible. But if the master chef wrote down a series of steps that they used to create the award-winning dish, they could give me those steps or give them to someone else, and that second person would be able to closely create the same award-winning dish that the master chef created. So this is what is referred to as a recipe. Even somebody like me who cannot cook would be able to cook up something really good if I follow the series of steps found in a recipe. And the exact same thing is true with photography. If you just follow a series of steps, then you'll be able to create your own beautiful photos. What I realized in my aha moment is that taking stunning photos is not the result of doing one thing right. It's the result of doing a series of steps right. And if you have a series of steps to follow and you follow those steps, then you are not going to miss out and make mistakes. Having a series of steps to follow is like having a, a red thread that weaves itself through the entire process of creating beautiful photos. And that was when I created a battle-tested four-step system that began at the planning stage of photography and finished at the printing stage of photography. I developed this system over years and I began using it for every photo that I would ever take. So in 2018, I went back to the Grand Canyon and I took my photos all over again, but this time it was so different. No more struggling and trying to figure out what to take pictures of. No more frustration of not knowing what type of camera setting or lens to use. No more not knowing the easiest and most simple camera settings. All my photos were sharp and in focus. And when I got home, I knew how to easily paint in light to add drama to my finished pictures. And I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. So the result, once I started using my new step-by-step -step system, my photos began getting noticed on social media. And even more amazing to me was that people began emailing me and asking to buy my prints. And this gave me the confidence I needed to start entering my photos into photo contests. And my pictures started winning awards and ultimately landscape photography became my full-time career. Now, how does this apply to you? I was making mistakes with my camera settings. I didn't understand how to find good looking compositions. I didn't understand the quick and easy way to use Lightroom to create dramatic finished photos. I didn't have a repeatable system to use every time I took a picture. 
That was the secret key that made all the difference for me. It was using a step-by-step -step system every time I took a picture. Now, let me introduce you to one of my students. His name is Eric Von Schultness. And he posted this on Facebook a few weeks ago. And he said that four months ago, he took my photography training at a time when his photography skills were basically zero. But after using my four-step photography system, he just received four awards for his photos. And in his words, I am speechless. I never expected this at all. I want to express my thanks to Tim and his team for all the support they give us as photographers to help us grow in our passion to explore, create, and inspire. So here's what we're going to cover in this web class. There are three secrets that I discovered that led to my success in photography. Secret number one, how you can take stunning magazine quality photos without buying expensive new camera gear. Secret number two, how you can create amazing tack sharp photography, even if you're not a technical person. And secret number three, how you can easily add drama to your photos by painting with light. So let's get rolling here with secret number one, how to create stunning magazine quality photos without buying expensive new camera gear. So the year after that trip to the, Gan to the Grand Canyon that I just told you about uh, 11 years ago, my family and I took a trip to the sand dunes of Death Valley National Park in California. It's an amazing place. If you ever get a chance to go there, you've got to check out Death Valley National Park in the early spring or in the fall when it's not boiling hot. So I had seen some incredible sand dune photos from Death Valley and I wanted my own sand dune photos. Before leaving on the trip, I had my eye on a brand new camera that I wanted to buy. Because in my mind at that time, I equated having a new and expensive camera with taking gorgeous photos. I thought there was a definite link there. I thought that having a new camera and lens would mean that my pictures would be better, but I was so wrong. But common sense got the better of me, and instead of spending the money on a new camera, I decided to invest in myself. So I spent hours researching what it is that makes a good composition. Now this next part here is really important. So pay attention on this part. Think about the foundation on a house. What I know now and what I teach is that a photo's composition is the cornerstone and the foundation of every good picture. And just to back up a second, when I say composition, I'm talking about what it is that you're actually looking at through the viewfinder of your camera. Like, are you, are you moving your camera a little left or a little right? Are you including a little more foreground or a little less foreground, a little more sky or a little less sky? That's choosing your composition. And it is the cornerstone and foundation of every good picture. It's just like the foundation under a house. So what is the first thing that you do when you build a house? You survey out the land, you dig a big hole, you pour a concrete foundation in exactly the right place. And if the concrete is strong and if it is level and all the corners are at right angles, then the house that is built on that foundation will stand tall and it will be beautiful and it will last for many decades. But the foundation under a house is everything. And if you don't get it right, then your house is going to come down. And the exact same thing is true with photography. The composition is the foundation of the photo. If you don't get it right, then your photo will not look good. It'll be boring. It'll be average. It'll be amateur. It'll be forgettable. So getting back to my trip to the sand dunes of Death Valley, before that trip, instead of buying a new camera, I chose to throw myself at the research of what makes a good composition. And during that process, I learned how to visualize a photo before I took the photo. And I also studied storytelling in photography. And then I felt ready to go on the trip. And here's the photo that I took from that trip to the sand dunes of Death Valley National Park that I took a decade ago with my very old Nikon D90, which is a very outdated and antiquated camera now. And I've sold this photo many times and it has won awards. But the takeaway from this experience is that taking amazing photos has nothing to do with what kind of camera you have, but it has everything to do with knowing how to find compositions that are pleasing to the eye. So 
would you like to know my four step system? So get out your pen and your paper because you are going to want to take some notes here and pop in the chat. Yes, I want to know your four step system. This has been life changing for me and it's been life changing for thousands of other photographers. So step one in the four step system is knowing how to get yourself to the right place at the right time. This is all about a very specific type of research and planning. This also involves looking at the photos of other successful photographers and modeling their success. I'm not talking about copying the work of other photographers, but I am talking about looking at what works for them and then using those successful principles for your own photography. And in addition, you need to visualize the photo that you want before you get to your photo location. Step two of the four step system is to know how to find amazing compositions and to use storytelling in your photos. This is where you clearly identify the hero of your story and you include the friends of the hero and you crop out the villains. This means you remove the clutter and you remove the noisy parts of the image in your composition and you use what I call composition rule stacking. This is a process where you add the most number of the rules of composition into one photo. So here's an example of composition rule stacking. In this photo, you can see that there are leading lines in the reflection on the water. You can, so that's rule of composition number one that is being used in this photo. And number two is balance and symmetry. There's a balance and symmetry with an equal amount of visual weight on the left side compared to the right side. So that's using rule number two and there's a non-cluttered foreground, and there's also a reflection. So when you stack the rules of composition, when you use the, the most number possible of rules of composition, your resulting image is going to be powerful. And when you have a solid foundation for your photo, you will love it and you'll wanna print it large and format in large format to hang on your wall at home, like this one, that uh, is from my photo. This is a high resolution panorama and it's now hanging on the wall in a client's home. And I'm super happy and proud to know that my images are hanging in the homes of other people. And I know that you would feel the same way. So this is Candace and she wrote on Facebook uh, that your course is absolute your course absolutely helped me take my photography to the next level. I'm still learning, but I feel a lot more confident now. Thank you. And there she is standing with her photo that she has taken printed in wide format and it's on the wall at home and it feels so good for her. She posted about it on Facebook. So you might be thinking that to take your own amazing photos, you need to be a naturally gifted artistic person or you need the photographer's eye. Let me tell you, that is not the case. And for me, I am not a naturally gifted artistic person. In fact, I graduated from an institute of technology in civil and structural engineering. Like I am sort of a computer type of guy and numbers and right angles and straight lines. I'm not artistic. If you handed me a pencil and asked me to draw a person or a landscape, it would just be, it, it would look like a child had drawn it. I am not naturally artistic, but you don't need to have that natural photographer's eye. The truth is that taking amazing photos is the result of using storytelling in your compositions through the use of a repeatable step-by-step -step system when you're in the field. And that is the formula for success. So let's look at secret number two, how to create amazing tack sharp pictures without technical skills. So many aspiring photographers think, oh, I'm not good at the technical stuff and I don't understand the camera settings. I know how that feels. But you just need to learn the easy way to let your camera do the heavy lifting for you. It's easy when you know how. Now, three years ago, we had a day planned to go to a city park to photograph the fall colors. This was my wife and I, and we had a, a day off on Saturday. It was a beautiful day. The leaves on the trees were in their beautiful oranges, yellows, and reds. And my wife, Leah, was walking around taking photos with her camera in this city park. And she had her camera on auto, in auto mode. And she was getting really bad results. So I looked over at her and she had put her camera away and she was taking pictures with her phone instead. So I walked over and I said, hey, what's up? You're not using your camera now. You're just taking pictures with your phone. Why? 
So she expressed some frustrations with the fact that the, the photos just weren't turning out as sharp or the sky had blown out highlights whenever she looked up through the tree branches to the sky and she was frustrated with it and it was just easier to use her phone. So then I showed her how to let her camera do the heavy lifting. So we used a setting on the camera, which is called A or aperture priority. And when you use this, you just need to make kind of one decision in advance. You need to decide how much do you want to be in focus from the foreground to the background? Do you want the foreground in focus and the background also in focus? And if the answer is yes, okay, then we're going to use a middle of the road setting in this A aperture priority. And so we set the camera to this middle of the road setting F8. Very easy to do. And this is how you get tack sharp photos. This is one of the two keys. So after you take a photo, you want to review that photo. You want to look at it and use a thing on your camera. It's just one button push. It's called a histogram. It shows you a little graph and it graphically shows you whether or not your photo is too light or too dark. And there's just one more little button push that you make after that point. It's called the EV button. Think of it as cruise control on your car. You know, you're driving along the highway sometimes. And if you have cruise control set, let's say you're at 60 miles an hour and you start creeping up towards the car that's ahead of you. And you want to slow down just by a tiny little bit. Like you just want to slow down one mile an hour. So you hold that minus key on your steering wheel and you hold it down for a couple seconds and then you let it go and now you're going one mile an hour slower and that's exactly how the ev button works on your camera so if your histogram is telling you oh your photo is way too bright all you have to do is hit that ev button and go to a minus one and then check it again and you'll find that your photo is going to be correctly exposed and it's just like using cruise control in a car and when i showed that to leah and it only took about a minute and a half to show her, everything changed for her. So here's the photo that she took on that day. It's gorgeous. It's a photo that's typically difficult to take because we're looking at a bright sky in between tree branches. The sky is correctly exposed and you know that because you see blue in the sky. If it was overexposed, it would be all white. It's a gorgeous photo. She liked it so much. We printed it three feet wide on metal, which looks so incredible. It's on the wall in our living room to this day. And when people come over, they congratulate me on my great photo, but I pr proudly tell them, it's not my photo, it's Leah's. And I love seeing the smile on her face when I say that. So the takeaway here is that you do not have to be a technical person to take gorgeous photos. You don't have to understand all the settings on a camera. To do that is next to impossible anyway, because there are thousands of them. You just have to know when and how to use that one simple, easy technique. And this is step three of the four step system. You let your camera do the heavy lifting for you by using easy to learn camera settings so that your photos will always be correctly exposed and they will be tack sharp. Now this is a student of mine named Andy Denton and he wrote in, uh, I think he wrote an email to me and he said, I recently found out that two of my panorama photographs were chosen for honorable mentions at the 2020 ND Awards. That's over six awards in one year after taking Tim Shields' masterclass. Andy is super happy with using the four-step system. It got him six awards and it will definitely work for you as well. Now, some photographers may think that they need to understand all of the technical jar jargon and be a super technical person before you can take great photos. But the truth is that you can use a simple camera setting so that your camera will do the heavy lifting for you and you don't need to be a technical person to create amazing photos. Secret number three, how to add drama to your photos by painting with light. So this is where you can use uh, this technique called painting with light, just like a painter uses a paintbrush. And this is step four in the four step system. And when I learned how to paint with light, everything changed in my photography. Because when I started out in my photography, I thought that I needed to be a Photoshop expert. And Photoshop is complicated. Photoshop is confusing. It's not even made for photographers. Photoshop is made for graphic designers. But 
I also thought that I needed to make my retouching adjustments over the entire image, like make the whole image more saturated, make the whole image more contrasty. These are called global adjustment, where the adjustment is made right across the full image. But when I discovered this secret of painting with light, that is when my photos started to look professional and I started to become proud of them. So let me show you what I mean. This is a photo I shot in Dubai and I painted with light on this image, which is the secret to why this photo looks really cool. If you look in the top right corner in the sky, you will notice that the sky is darker up in the top right. Well, I painted in that darkness there because I didn't want the eye of the viewer to be attracted to that. It, it was actually a, a brighter part of the sky up there. So I darkened it with my paintbrush. In the top left, same thing, darker sky in the top left. I painted in that darkness. Also, the whole right side of the photo, that right side to the right of the highway, um, it doesn't look beautiful there. And I didn't want the eye of the viewer being pulled over to that part of the image. So I brushed in some darkness. And likewise, the highways. The highways were not that kind of orangey in the first place. And I wanted to put in more of an orangey look just on the highway. So I painted over the highways with my brush and I increased the color temperature, which gave it a warming tone. And that's painting with light. You are painting in light for the areas you want your viewer to look at and then you can paint in darkness for the areas that you do not want your viewers to look at so you paint in the good light and you paint out the bad light here's another one that i took of uh, the japanese maple tree in portland oregon and if you look at the right side of the image you'll see it's just a little bit darker than the center of the image same with the left the left is a little darker than the center look at the bottom as well also a little bit darker. And that's because I painted in a slight subtle amount of darkness around the outside image so that your eye will go right to the middle, which is what I actually want the viewer to look at. Same thing on this one. This is Moraine Lake in Banff National Park, Alberta, Canada. And I also painted with light here. In the original photo, the sky was super bright and almost washed out. So I painted in a little bit of darkness so that your eye won't jump up to that brightest part of the image. Um, likewise, if you look at the tree on the extreme right side and the tree on the extreme left, I darkened those two trees to create more of a frame and so that your eye won't be naturally pulled over to the side. Remember that theory that the eye of the viewer is always attracted to the brightest part of the image. So you wanna make sure that the brightest part is the hero of the story. Remember I talked about storytelling. You want your photo to have a hero. So in this picture, obviously the background mountains, that's the hero of the story. The trees in the foreground are not the hero, so I darkened them. And that is how, it's so easy to do when you paint with light. So I'm gonna show you a really quick video here of exactly how I paint with light. And uh, I will come back to you. I'm just looking for it here and here we go. Right, so I've got Lightroom open and I'm going to make some really quick global adjustments to the entire image. And in order to uh, move this along quickly, I've already made them. So that we're looking at the before, this is the raw image. And now here is the after, but before I have painted in light. It's an amazing difference so far, just looking at the before here and then the after. But what I want to accomplish, see all these trunks of trees from the tree? I want to paint in light on the trunks, only on the trunks, so that I will be able to bring out more detail, more texture of the trunk of this tree, because that's what is part of the beauty of this overall photo. So I go up to here, here, and this is the brush tool. This is where the magic happens. I love this tool so much. And I'm going to now start to brush in over top of the uh, trunks of the tree. And I'm just brushing, I'm holding down my mouse button as I do this. And I can make my circle smaller as the branch gets thinner, I can make it smaller. So I want to go up and down every single uh, little bit of branch here. And in the name of time, I'll show you what I did. So everything that you see in red there is where I brushed in and I want to brush in light. I want to brush in detail here. And so this is what I call painting with light. So let's turn up the exposure really nice and bright. I'm going to go as high as a 1.72 and I'm going to turn up the dehaze slider. This adds 
uh, a lot of extra contrast. I'm going to turn up the uh, clarity as well, and I'm going to turn up the sharpness. So now I'm, I'm bringing out so much more detail here. So let's look at the before and after just on this brush. So here's the before, it's a lot darker. And here is the after, and there's just so much more interestingness to the photo overall with the after, the fact that you can just see all of the little pieces of moss and the brown uh, in the bark of the tree. It's just a lot more interesting by brushing in with light. Let's look one more time. So here's the before, and here's, here's the real before, before any adjustments whatsoever. And this is the after before, after. So this is the magic that you can do by painting with light. You can paint in light areas and you can also paint in dark areas. So if I thought that this area down here in the bottom right of the photo was just getting to be a little too bright and maybe a little bit of a distraction, I would create a new brush, make it a little wider and brush over this area and then grab the exposure slider and slide it down to the left and just darken it just a little bit. So now the bottom right is kind of an equal amount of darkness as the bottom left and it creates that little bit of balance. And likewise, maybe this was getting a little too bright up here and maybe a little too bright up there. I could darken that a little bit if I wanted to. I'll just ease that off a bit. And, and that's how easy this is to paint in with light. I find that using the brush tool in Lightroom is the most fun that you can have in your photo editing and it's so easy to do. All right, uh, I, I absolutely love that technique of painting with light. It, it is just so fun and uh, it's enjoyable in uh, using Lightroom, it's so easy and it it's really the artist side of photography where you're, you have that ability to come back home, upload your photo onto your computer, your laptop, your tablet, and to paint with light and, and uh, add that extra layer of beauty to your photo. And that is what uh, step four of the four step system is. So one of my students, Nelson Rudiak, he lives in New York State. He took this photo uh, of a sunflower field very close to his home. And what I love about this is that he didn't need to travel far to take this photo. This is such an awesome photo. I love it so much. We have a clear hero of the story, which is the one sunflower standing up tall. Uh, we, we know clearly what the main subject is. He painted with light here. Look at those clouds that surround the sunflower, the one on the left, the one that's just top right center, and then the one over on the right. He darkened those clouds, so he painted with light, and it accentuates and makes the hero of the story stand out even more. It's an easy technique to learn. You can learn it in minutes, and it is just so powerful. So some people think that post-processing is just too complicated and that it just takes way too much time. It's confusing. You have to be so technical. But the truth is, once you start using brush strokes to paint with light, your post-processing will become easy and it will definitely become fun. Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna present my screen here. Yeah, I forgot that I wasn't presenting the whole thing. So uh, I do have a question for you, Michael, jump in. And uh, a reminder that we are going to be holding a live draw and we're going to be giving away the photographer's backpack. We're going to be giving away the portable hard drive, the high quality SD card and the mini tripod and that's coming up. But before we give, uh, before we hold this live draw and you do need to be here live in order to be a winner, I have a question for you, Michael, are you with us? Can you I ask am. this question? Yeah, absolutely. So I just wanted to kind of reach out to everybody who's following here on both uh, Facebook and YouTube and just find out if you're enjoying the presentation so far. Is this something that you're getting something out of? Can you walk away from this and put something into practice immediately that's going to help you improve your photography? Just uh, if the answer is yes to that question, just just hit yes. Type yes in the in the comment section. We'd love to we'd love to hear from you guys and know whether or not this is this is of great value because as we create more training for you guys and we continue to develop uh, everything we do here at the Photography Academy, we want to make sure we're doing it for you. So to let us know if uh, if we're hitting the nail on the head here yet. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, and yes, if nothing else. If nothing else, I I want you to come out 
uh, with a sense of enthusiasm, kind of renewing your love for photography, the whole reason that you picked up a camera in the first place. You probably picked up a camera for the first time decades and decades ago, depending on how old you are. You may have been taking pictures for your entire life. You may be an expert, you may be a beginner, but we share this one thing in common and that's our passion for creating our own art. And we do that through our photography. Uh, painters do it with a brush, musicians do it with a musical instrument and we do it through a camera and we're able to create something that will actually not just be something you love today, but it becomes part of your legacy uh, that you leave behind when we leave this earth. It's your portfolio. And what kind of comments are we seeing? Are we enjoying the uh, webinar so far? Stunningly, yes. Stunning feedback of yes. Okay, great. So here is what we have covered. Secret number one was how you can take stunning magazine quality photos without needing to buy expensive new camera gear. Remember, this is all about your composition. The composition is everything. And you need to use storytelling in your photos. Identify that hero of the story and crop out the villains, that would be the clutter, the noise, the things that are a distraction in the composition. Secret number two, how you can create gorgeous works of photographic art, even if you are not an artistic or technical person, you don't need to be super technical, you don't have to understand every single camera setting, you just need to let your camera do the heavy lifting for you, and I showed you how to do that. Secret number three, how you can easily paint with light to add drama to your photos, I just gave you a demo on that. It's just something I love doing so much and I love teaching it. So would you like to take things to the next level? Would it be okay if I share with you um, a program that has helped over 7,500 photographers from around the world? So if you could pop into the chat, would it be okay if I share that program with you? And then as soon as I share that program, we're going to hold the draw. Absolutely. So just let us know. Uh, again, this is some. This is a training that Tim has delivered to people in seven continents, including Antarctica. Uh, and remember, when we spoke about some of these testimonials earlier and some of these folks who have taken uh, this program, this is the program that allowed them to elevate their photography skills and start to win awards and start to be incredibly proud of what they've done. So if you're interested in learning more about that program, just type in yes, uh, we'd love to, yes, show us, of course, of course, of course, yes, go, yes, yes. Okay, I, I believe we have permission uh, to okay. share this offer. All right. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the Photography Transformation Masterclass. This is the four-step system that will lead you to being able to take photos that are on the level of being award-winning. This is the four-step system that helps you create magazine-quality photos that will make your friends say, wow, did you seriously take that? And you can do it without wasting money on new camera gear that does not result in better photos and without complicated explanations. So here's what you're going to get in this masterclass. This is the four step system where step one is perfect planning and research. Step two, concrete compositions. Step three, crushing your camera settings. Step four, professional post-processing, that's painting with light, and also a bonus of making prints, how to actually print your photos, what settings should you use, and as well, social media, how to win contests, how to boost your Instagram, and even how to sell your work. There's over seven hours of content in this masterclass. You get a certificate of completion when you're done. We have subtitles in English and Spanish. You get lifetime access to this masterclass. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your iPad. You can watch it on your laptop, on your desktop, any device. If you wish, you can download the lessons so that you have them on your computer. Uh, at the end of every session, we have Q&A sessions with previous students who asked questions, and those are all included so that all the common questions that people would have are included in this masterclass. After each lesson, there's a skills assignment for you, and during the program, I push you to follow all the way through, all the way through from planning a photo shoot to going out and taking the photo shoot and all the way through to printing your photo. So this is one of my students who has taken this masterclass. Her name is Leanne Leach. She wrote and posted uh, in our private group a month ago, and she said, well, I woke up to a lovely surprise. Three of my photos received nominations in the Fine Art Photography Awards. I seriously didn't think it was possible. Thank you, Tim, for your incredible teaching and support that made this possible. 
so exciting. And Leanne lives in Alberta, Canada. These are her three award-winning photos, and I'm so proud of her for her accomplishment. This is Deborah, and she posted on Facebook that she just completed the Transformation Masterclass. It was totally amazing. I learned so much that I struggled with before. Tim teaches in a way that is easy to grasp and easier to learn. I highly recommend this class to anyone ready to take their skills to the next level. Uh, Mark wrote on Facebook, just completed Tim's transformation course. It was one of the best courses I've taken. Tim's an excellent teacher and photographer, and the content he covered was exceptional. I would recommend this to anyone who's interested in expanding their photography skills. This is Jazz Preet. He finished the masterclass, and uh, he actually went on to even take my next level coaching program because he did like it so much. He posted on Facebook, this is his certificate of completion. You feel proud when your dreams start coming true. Photography is my passion. I joined Tim's Photography Academy. I finished the courses. They're very well explained in a simple way. If you want to learn landscape photography, then you must consider Tim Shields. So these are all students who have completed this masterclass. They've gone all the way through from an idea right through to printing their own photos. And we've had over 7,500 people take this masterclass training. Um, if you are still not yet convinced and you need to see more testimonials, if you go to photographyacademy.com and click on reviews, you'll see probably about a hundred of them taken off of Facebook and Google. So I'm going to show you a really quick uh, testimonial here from, uh, it's just about 60 seconds long, and here we go. And there we don't go. Uh, here we go. My photography has improved by leaps and bounds, and I've doubled my social media presence on Instagram. And finally, I've begun to sell prints uh, that I have created uh, using the techniques that I learned in the class. I learned how to use Lightroom when I've never even used it before. I actually have people asking me how much are my prints when I thought, what? I, I hadn't even finished my final assignment yet. Since I've taken the photography transformation class, I've actually won a couple of awards myself. And the improvements are considerable. I would recommend this class to anyone who is just starting out or of intermediate standard. If you're thinking about joining the master class, or quit thinking and get on board, you will be very happy that you did. Just do it. The only way you're gonna make any change and to see results is to sign up for it. Um, it will absolutely blow your mind just how good a photography can be after taking the class. Okay, let me get back to sharing my screen here. And there we go. All right, so who does this work for? This works for people who are beginners in photography and who want to create their own stunning photos. It also works for experienced photographers who want to take their photography to the next level and maybe win photo awards. And it also works for advanced photographers who want to create a body of work, a body of fine art photography that will actually sell. So the number one reason why people don't get started is that they might be thinking, oh, I can't get started because I just don't have the time. But you can take this training on your own pace. Even if you're on holidays, you can watch the course content from your phone wherever you are and you have lifetime access to this training. You literally can watch it on any device, tablet, phone, desktop. So here's what you're going to get so far. This is part of a bundle. And the first thing in the bundle is the Landscape Photography Transformation Four-Step System Masterclass. And the value of this course is $997. And you are also going to get the Landscape Photography Mastermind. Now this is a private closed group. It's your support community for the duration of the masterclass. And it's where you will display your assignments. This is where you can share your experiences with other students. You get feedback from me and from other community members. You share your ideas, you share your creativity. You get inspired from others who are taking this same program because a rising tide lifts all boats. You can ask questions in a safe and respectful closed group setting. And it is only people who are in this program who are there. So we all have one common goal. So it solves the problem. No more losing motivation because you feel alone, no more giving up because of a lack of motivation, no more asking questions online to be met with silence or sarcasm, and no more not knowing who to ask. You might be thinking, oh, I don't like to participate in groups, but it's not a problem because even if you choose not to post your work, you'll still learn from the comments and the photos of everyone else in the group. 
And you might be thinking that you're just too busy for a group, but you can ask a question 24 hours a day and you'll get a response back at your convenience. So the value of this mastermind group is $497. So here's what you're getting as part of the bundle so far. Top row, you're getting the Landscape Photography Transformation Masterclass, and you're getting access to the Private Landscape Photography Mastermind, the closed group. The total value so far in this bundle is $1,494. But you are also going to get, as part of this bundle, the Photography Post Processing Tools Bundle. And this begins with mobile presets. You can upload these presets into your phone and it allows you with just one click to completely change the look of your photos. So these are mobile presets for the photos you take with your phone. I use these all the time. They work so well. Uh, over on the left, you are also going to get my set of signature landscape profiles. These are very similar to presets, just a little bit newer in the middle my collection of family food and fun presets and over on the right my signature lightroom presets collection this is my most sold individual product i've sold well i think i'm approaching twenty thousand now sold on their own individually so what these presets allow you to do is give your photo a new look with just a click or two and it's so easy to um, put a photo on your screen and then give it various different looks, choose the look that you like the best, and then use that as a starting point for your own edits and painting with light. So these are just a few of the hundreds of reviews that we've received on the presets, uh, five-star reviews, and as I've said, we have over, I think just around 20,000 of these presets that we've sold on their own. These presets uh, and tools allow you to create beautiful photos, faster and easier than ever before. You save time with your post-processing. You save yourself the pain of moving endless sliders in Photoshop or Lightroom, and it jumpstarts your photo post-processing. Yeah, and I just wanna say one thing real quick about those presets. They are they are your signature presets. These are presets you created to get tremendous looks that have helped you create your award-winning photography. A lot of people out there will buy presets like 2,000 presets or 5,000 presets, and you just get overloaded, but these presets Presets, the signature presets from Tim Shields are literally created with you in mind. So you don't have a million to choose from. We've got the very best presets for every circumstance. So I just wanted to make sure people know like how, how meticulously, uh, you know, how, how meticulous you were when creating these presets. Yeah, absolutely. And the way that I created them, I took my top 100 photos of all time and I took the Lightroom settings off each of those and used them to create presets. So they, the presets were literally created from award-winning photos. Exactly. So you may be thinking that using Lightroom is too complicated, but these presets remove the stress of needing to learn a new program. And with the mobile presets, you can even do it on your phone. So this is the total bundle of the photography post-processing tools. The value of all these individually is $540. So here's what you're going to get as part of the whole bundle here. Top row, you're getting the Landscape Photography Transformation Masterclass. You're getting access to the private closed group. You're getting the post-processing tools. So the total value so far is $2,034. Also included in this bundle is the Jumpstart Bundle. So these are uh, two of my best-selling courses where you master the essentials of photography and camera settings, and you can copy my simple step-by-step -step photo post-processing system using Lightroom. So over on the right, Photography Jumpstart, that is a beginner's photography course. I start at the point where you're opening the box and taking your camera out of the box. And over on the left, Lightroom Jumpstart, this is also a beginner's course that that gets you up and running with Lightroom very quickly. So uh, one of my students, Wendy Klein, who is an administrator in the Photography Academy Facebook group, she took the Photography Jumpstart course. She said, this course is for everyone who is wanting to learn from basics right through to more advanced. It is the best explained photography course I've seen. I highly recommend this course as you will not be disappointed. And Wendy has gone on to now hosting her own workshops. She is a top level landscape photographer. She's just retired after a full career as a nurse and she is now going into photography workshop training full time. Her photos are absolutely astounding. So having this recommendation from her carries a lot of weight 
Um, yeah, I took a screen grab from her website. These are just a small snippet of photos that she has taken. Uh, her website is wendykleinphotography.com. Absolute 10 out of 10 photographer. So these are some of the uh, reviews and testimonials that have come in on the Photography Jumpstart course, five-star reviews on this standalone course, and same goes with the Lightroom Jumpstart course, five-star reviews. So you might be thinking that you can't use these two Jumpstart courses because you already know the basics. Well, that's not an issue because these trainings are the perfect brush up even for an advanced photographer. So the total value of these two courses on their own is $297. So here's what you're getting so far. You're getting on the top row, the Landscape Photography Transformation Masterclass, then the access to the closed group, you're getting the post-processing tools and you're getting the Jumpstart bundle. The total value is $2331. The bundle keeps growing. I'm making this mm -hmm. as inclusive as you can ever believe. So I have a series of classes called Photography the Easy Way and I'm including all three of my Photography the Easy Way classes. And these are step-by-step -step tutorials where I use my system so that you can learn the easy way. And so the one on the left, I show you how to take an HDR panorama fast and easy. The one in the middle, how to use Photoshop the easy way. And over on the right, how to use presets to create stunning photos the easy way. This is where you learn the techniques and tricks that are normally complicated and you only learn the need to know items. And I get straight to the point. It's bite-sized classes that you can watch in one sitting. Yeah, and you I also, I you also can't just want to mention real quick, uh, Tim, about those. I think it's so important for people to recognize that, you know, a lot of folks will go to YouTube and they'll and they'll search and they'll look for how to do these things. When when Tim created these, they were created specifically so you'll never have to use YouTube again and watch 10 different videos to try to get all of the different pieces of the puzzle to make something that you want. It's so easy. All you want to you want to do a panorama. All you have to do is go watch this video. That's it. You don't have to you don't have to piece together knowledge from a thousand different places. That's why we created these and that's why they're so easy. Yeah, exactly. And I used to be one of those lone wolf learners trying to learn everything on my own from various sources in YouTube. And yes, you can learn that way, but it's the slow way. Yeah. This here is the fast way. This is the way to jumpstart your learning. So you might be thinking that you can't use these courses because you don't have the time or the money to travel to inter interesting locations, but it's not true because you can use this system to create extraordinary photos anywhere, even in your own backyard or at a local state park. So the total value of the Easy Way bundle is $290. So here's what you're getting so far. You're getting the Landscape Photography Transformation Masterclass, access to the closed group, the post-processing tools, the Jumpstart bundle, and the photography, the easy way classes, and the total value is $2,621. Now, if all this did was, yeah, I read too fast on that slide. <laughs> so, now, obviously, I'm not going to charge you $2,621, but if I did charge you $2,621, and all, if, all it did was show you exactly how to create stunning landscape photos that you'll want to print and put on your wall, would it be worth it to you? It's a legitimate question. If all this program did was help you create stunning pieces of artwork that helped you win photography awards or sell your prints, would it be worth it? If all it did was help you overcome your own internal doubts and fears about not being able to create professional quality photos, would it be worth it? If all it did was help you create consistently exceptional photographs even when you're taking pictures with your phone, would it be worth it? So I had two choices when I put this bundle together. I could make it cheap so that the greatest number of people would, would get it, or I could make it really valuable with the absolute nuggets, the knowledge bombs, and the system that you can follow. And that is how I made it. I made it the most valuable that I possibly could. So here we go, the Photography Transformation 4-Step System. It has a value of $2,621. The regular price on this is $997. But I'm giving you a scholarship today because you are here with me live on this webinar and you are an action taker. And I wanna see as many people as possible transform their photography. So I made this bundle as affordable as I possibly could. 
the photography transformation system, you're not going to pay $2,621, which is the total value. You're not going to pay a $997 regular price. We have a webinar special of $297. And if you go to my website and you look at this bundle, you'll see it's actually $397. So I'm taking $100 off during this presentation, including if you're watching the replay video and you're not with us live. Uh, so you have two choices. You can choose to just keep doing things the same as you have always done, or you can choose to go all in on yourself and invest in yourself and speed up your learning and jumpstart your learning so that you can be taking the photos that you have always dreamed of taking. So I have a guarantee if the photography transformation four step system does not help you create magazine quality photos that'll make people stop and say, wow, without you having to run out and buy new camera gear, then I will refund your money. So the real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? Even if it only does half of what I've claimed today, it will pay for itself with time saved and gorgeous photos gained. So if this wasn't amazing enough already, I have one more thing to throw into the bundle. And this is a bonus that I am including on this live webinar, and this is a big one. I have a series of classes called Photography from Start to Finish, and I'm including this entire bundle of my Photography from Start to Finish classes. And uh, the one on the left is how to shoot fireworks. And this is a big deal. All of us go to fireworks demonstrations at some point. This is a start to finish of how to do it. I take you with me out in the field. I'll show you the camera settings. We come back, we post process, start to finish. Uh, yeah, the one I in the middle, how to shooting fireworks because yeah. This, uh... and, and while I have you, uh, Michael, do we have a link in our chat? We do, yeah, the link's in the chat. So whether you're on the Facebook group or you're over here with us on YouTube, all you gotta do is click the link in the chat. It came directly from the Tim Shields YouTube channel itself. You can just look and it says Tim Shields and then you'll see the link. Uh, and then somebody else mentioned that they were looking for, they have a technical question. If you do have a technical question or you have any problems with the link, all you gotta do is email us uh, at Tim's, or excuse support, me, support, support at timsphotos.com, support at Tim's photos.com that's t-i-m-s photos.com beautiful all right so in the middle there how to capture sunbursts without distracting sun flares sun flares are those gross big orbs of of colored light that that ruin photos and on the right how to find a simple composition in a busy forest and this is one of the most difficult things to do but it can be done then uh on the left how to create natural looking hdr photos without that dreaded hdr look uh, in the middle, the simple camera trick that creates stunning foregrounds and over on the right, how to create fog and sunbeams when there is no fog. So this is the photography from start to finish bundle. And these are six separate mini courses where I show you how to take a photo from the field to the finish. I find the composition. I show you the camera settings. I show you the focus points. I show you the post-processing. I break down the exact process I use to create award-winning photography. Now you might be thinking, you can't use this because you don't have professional grade camera equipment like I do. But the truth is that these start to finish expert master trainings apply to any type of camera or gear. And the value of this start to finish bundle is $582. So here is what you are going to get. You are getting the photography transformation four step system masterclass. You're getting access to the private closed mastermind group. You're getting all of the photography post-processing tools. That's the presets and profiles. You're getting the jumpstart bundle. Those are the two beginners courses. You're getting the photography, the easy way classes. That's the three of them. And then you're getting the six photography from start to finish classes. The total value is $3,203. So I would like to invite you to get started and uh, join me on the join me in the photography transformation four step system masterclass there have been over 7500 people from around the world who have gone through this program they are beginners they are intermediates and they are advanced and it has completely transformed the way that they take pictures uh, and it will and it has changed the way they'll take pictures for the rest of their lives
Yeah, and all you have to do is click on the link in the YouTube chat, and it'll take you directly to get this amazing offer. Somebody asked if how long it was going to be available for. So we're only offering the bonuses. So if you if you want to get everything in this pack, if you want to get all the bonuses, we're going to be offering this for the next 15 minutes. Um, all you got to do is click that link to get started right now. For those of you who are excited about the raffle, we're going to be giving away so many cool things here in just a few seconds, and we're going to be offering you every single person who showed up today is going to be getting the 28 secrets uh to, excuse me 29 uh secrets to lightroom so all you got to do again to get started right now i'm gonna put the link in here one more time uh click that link get started now if you want to get all of the bonuses make sure you take action within the next few minutes here yeah i just have a quick 60 second video to show you this is uh these are video testimonials that have been sent in proactively by people just like you who have taken this exact same program and just listen to what they have to say. The big difference from before uh, taking this class and after taking this class. I had absolutely no background in post-processing whatsoever. Now I find that I'm reasonably comfortable in using Lightroom. I took the photography transformation class. When I started, I was just a beginner and my photos were just so-so. And now I'm an award-winning photographer. And my photography is exhilarating and I have fun when I go do it because I feel like I know what I'm doing now. I got so much out of it and I'm going back and looking at some of it again. No, it's enough to make me be able to make a big photo like that because of your teaching. I think there's a tremendous amount of value in this course and if I were you, I think I'd raise the price. I think it's an investment and I encourage you to, to invest in it. Uh, this is the best one I ever had. For the price, um, you can't beat these. Thanks. Yeah, so these are uh, students, people who have taken this program and who found incredible transformations from uh, through their photography. And that's why I called the program, I named it the Photography Transformation. Like you can get information anywhere in fact we are so overloaded with information we don't even know what to do with it it's like drinking from a fire hose this is more than information it's literally a transformation i want you to be different when you come out the other side motivated enthused excited about your photography and having the simple skills using the four-step system to be able to take the photos that you've always wanted to take and it's just like uh, the my previous self 11 years ago on the edge of the Grand Canyon I thought I knew how to take great photos I certainly knew how to take pictures but I wasn't able to create awesome pictures I wasn't able to create pictures that were on that level of being stunning being jaw-dropping being award-winning and once I developed that four-step system that is in this master class it changed everything for me it's changed everything for 7,500 others I think it can do the same for you. And again, all you got to do is click the link in the chat. And somebody just mentioned that they didn't see it in Facebook. Uh, I just went and checked Facebook. It's uh, it's in the comments. So I believe Fernando has been putting it in the comments. So if you if you don't see it, make sure you're looking in the comments. Uh, you should see it in both YouTube and Facebook. Uh, all you got to do is look in the comments section. Yeah, we have uh, Fernando who is helping us out today. He's sitting behind me, as a matter of fact, <laughs> and uh, he's dropping the link that goes to the masterclass uh, in the comments. So make yeah. sure you're and looking want, in the live comments. Yeah, and I just want to congratulate everybody who's taking uh, taking you up on this offer because it is a phenomenal offer. There's it's an extraordinary opportunity to take your art, your photography art, or your business even to the next level. If you're somebody who wants to launch a photography business, uh, now's been an extraordinary time to start your business so all you got to do is click that link if you're ready to get started right now congratulations uh everybody who is signing up it's it's uh it's pretty amazing um i'm not gonna uh share your email addresses but we got a lot of folks here who are uh, who are signing up so congratulations yeah congratulations because what you're doing by signing up and starting on this program you're making an investment in yourself i mean we when you think of uh, i've got a camera beside me this is the old camera i bought when i was 13 years old but if this was a newer camera if this was a newer little sony mirrorless with a half decent lens i mean this would be like almost two thousand dollars right and what 
worth is it? What good is it to have a $2,000 camera if you don't really have a repeatable step-by-step -step system to be able to create your own stunning photos? So I think that uh, at least in my own personal experience, the value that I got was when I decided to invest in myself. Forgo the new gear. It's not going to result in awesome photos, but investing in yourself will. And this is a system that is the result of decades of work uh, from me as a photographer and now as a, a full-time landscape photographer. You are learning the fast way. This is the jump start where you're taking my decades of knowledge. I've condensed it and packed it down into this simple system and it is going to help you in a very big way to be able to take the photos that you've always wanted to take. Yeah, congratulations, Ken, Lisa, uh, Brant, Patricia, Jennifer, Wayne, Candace. Uh, congratulations, you guys have made an incredible decision. We've got Movie Lighter, uh, Baltok, uh, he's so many, some, some of these names are kind of hard to pronounce. Wayne, congratulations, Steven, Michael. Wow, yeah, you guys are gonna be thrilled with this. Yeah, we live in a time where, um, especially when we have maybe a little bit more time at home, maybe we're not traveling as far and wide as we used to do a year and a half ago, but we are at a time when we have the internet at our fingertips, we have this overload of information that's coming at us like we're just being bombarded with it and many uh at least with myself i used to think that the way to learn was just to watch endless youtube videos but part of the problem there is that sometimes we don't know what questions to actually ask we don't know what to ask and what i could not find on youtube was a system a repeatable four-step system. Follow these four steps just like in a recipe. Here's how to follow them. And then it changes everything so that when you're on the edge of your Grand Canyon, wherever that is, you will know exactly what you want to, the picture that you want to get. You will know the composition that you want to find. You will know how to stack the rules of composition, how to use storytelling in your photos. Then you'll know exactly how to set up your camera so that it will do the heavy lifting for you and how to make sure that you're achieving the two goals in camera settings. There's only two goals, even though there's a thousand buttons, there's two goals. Goal number one, to have a correctly exposed photo, making sure that your skies are not overexposed. Goal number two, to have a sharp and in focus photo, just those two goals. And in this program, I show you exactly how to achieve those two goals. And then finally, you get home and you upload those photos onto your laptop or your desktop or maybe your tablet, you'll know exactly how to paint with light and how to improve that photo. Paint in some darkness to remove distractions. Paint in some saturation or some light or some contrast to attract the eye to the main subject or to the hero of the story. And when you do those four things together, you are going to, uh, it will result in your ability to be able to take photos that you are super proud of you want to print them, you want to put them on the wall at home, and there's something that'll stay in your family for potentially generations. Yeah, and I know you already hit on this before, but I can't uh, stress this enough and how important it is because so many folks, they're excited about photography, they want to get out there, they want to get started, and they invest in an expensive camera. You know, They drop $1,000 or $2,000 on a camera and maybe $500 on a lens, but they don't know how to leverage that technology. And so what Tim has created here is a step-by-step -step transformational system that allows you to simply watch one video at a time take a little action and learn something about the technology that you have. And you don't have to know everything all at one time by, by just taking it step by step and learning one little thing and taking one little action. You're going to have such an experiential knowledge now of the technology of the camera of the system that is going to help you be a rock star, become the artist you've always dreamed of. And you know, the problem is most people just don't know how to use the equipment or they get overwhelmed or they get uninspired. And so by getting, getting in on this opportunity, not only are you going to get the right training to teach you exactly how to master your equipment, but you're also going to be surrounded by extraordinary people taking the exact same course as you in the Facebook Academy, which is going to keep you inspired, which is going to keep you motivated to 
log on and watch the next piece, watch the next uh, video, watch the t- go out there and do the next challenge. And this is going to change the way you shoot photography. You're going to, you're going to be blown away by the results you get. And, and when I say results, I mean, when you walk away, you're going to be proud of the art that you've created. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no more of that feeling, at, at least the feeling that I had of being a failure, feeling, oh, wow, I just don't have what it takes. I just don't get it. Here I thought I understood everything there was to know about a camera, but yet I still wasn't able to take awesome photos when I was on the edge of the Grand Canyon. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do we access this training? Like, how do I get it? How do I watch it? And it's kind of like Netflix. We give you a login, you get your own login where you get your own dashboard, and then you can just pick each class right off the screen, just like you're looking at the home screen on Netflix and uh, it's just like watching a TV series and you click the next one when you're done the first one and you click the next one after that. So really easy and you have lifetime access. So you'll yeah. watch it uh, anywhere where you have an internet connection. You just log in and start watching. And if you do not have an internet connection, you can download the videos onto your device. Yeah, and I just want to let everybody know, for those of you who are excited to get the 29 Lightroom Secrets, I've got the link in the YouTube chat. Fernando, if you go ahead and drop that in the Facebook chat as well. Every single person who came today is going to get this free gift. All you got to do is click the link uh, to get it right now. Uh, the, the, the link is in the comment section, and the last part says free dash gift. So all you got to do is click that link to get started immediately and hang tight because we're going to have a Q and a here in a second. And we're going to be offering, we're going to be raffling off these amazing prizes, right? Okay. So, uh, we're, we're about to kind of shut this down. We have uh, $100 off right now while we're live, or if you're watching the replay right now for the duration of the replay, you can get the $100 off. If you go to the photography Academy website and you click on this program, you'll see it is $397. But during this presentation, we're taking $100 off. So if this is something you're sitting on the fence, you don't really know now is your time because we do have the $100 discount that's going uh, well, that's really going to be ending. Yep. In just a few minutes. And I just put yep. the link in again, folks. So if you are on the fence, if you're somebody who wants to get started, but just are not quite sure, remember there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's absolutely no risk. The only thing you're risking is a couple minutes of your time to see if this is right for you. And when, you know, when you think about whether or not that two minutes of checking this out is worth it, just imagine what all of the folks said who have taken this course before the results that they've experienced, you're going to have all those results too. All you got to do is pull the trigger, take the class and join the team. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I think we are ready to hold our draw. And uh, I'm kind of excited about this. So uh, we've still got the cart open. And Fernando, if you could just drop in one more time the link to the order form so that that is the link there. I'm going to come to the book in a second that that was a couple of slides ahead is the is the book. So let's just uh, keep the link to the order form there while we do this draw. And uh, I'm kind of excited to do this. We did this a month ago for the very first time. This is the second time. And it was just really, really fun to be able to give away such awesome stuff like this. Yeah, okay, there's our book. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. So Michael, uh, are you excited to be giving away some of this stuff? Yes. Let's do this. I'm excited. Uh, the, the folks who we had last time who got these products were so thrilled uh, because it's, it's amazing to be able to, you know, the backpack is incredible. Uh, the, the hard drive is incredible. I mean, these are, these are top quality products. So if you're, if you're feeling lucky today, don't forget, if you haven't done it before now, make sure you type in, I am a creator or I am an explorer or I love to inspire. Yeah. Cause we're going to be choosing from the chat. Now, let me just say how this is going to work. Um, you have to be here live to be a winner and you are here live. And in order to claim your prize, you're going to have to send an email to support at timsphotos.com. If we choose your name, please don't send anything unless we choose your name. And uh, can you please answer in full sentences? I had people last time, uh, some of them just sent a name and address. And it was like, okay, what did you win? Please use a full <laughs> sentence. 
uh, with subject line winner. So um, that's this only applies if we choose your name. We're going to draw the Manfrotto mini tripod first. And this is something that uh, I use myself. I really, really enjoy having this in my camera bag. It's got a little ball head at the very top. So if you push in the button right here, you can level out your camera using the ball head. Just an awesome little piece of equipment. Now, the way that we're going to do this draw, we're going to do it fairly unscientifically. In front of me, I have a... Um, a chat list of every single person who has left a message from both Facebook and from um, YouTube. And I am going to, sorry, I'm just getting this on my screen. I'm not able to multitask. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I'm just getting it on the screen for me. And I'm going to be spinning my mouse wheel and I'm going to be looking at which name appears underneath my mouse button. So I'm about to do this now. I have a big, huge, long list uh, in the chat. And I'm just trying to get this going here without making it move my... Okay, there we go. Okay, and I have a big, long list in the chat. <laughs> Oh, and, and as you're doing that, I just wanted to mention to folks again, all if you wanted to, if you didn't see the link to the free ebook, all you got to do is click on the free ebook link. I'm going to drop it in here one more time. Uh, if you are, if you want to grab that while you wait, every single person who has joined us today is going to be receiving that ebook. So make sure you do not leave today without it. Okay. Our first one, I've just spun my mouse wheel and a name got highlighted as soon as the spinning stopped. It's Michael Kosh, K-O-C-H. Michael Kosh had written in, I am an explorer. He is watching on YouTube. Michael, if you are with us right now, we need you to uh, drop in a message to say, I'm here. And uh, we need to see that because if we don't see your name pop up right now, then we're going to choose another name. So Michael Kosh, if you are here, drop something in the chat and we need to see your name. Uh, Michael, make sure you're looking at the chat because we don't want to miss it. I, he, there he is. Woot. Michael Coach. Michael okay. Co awesome. Coke. Michael, congratulations. You're the winner of this Manfrotto mini tripod. Please write a, an email to support at timsphotos.com. There's an S after the Tim, timsphotos.com. Subject line, winner. Hi, I won the Manfrotto mini tripod. Give us your address and give us your phone number. They need for the for the shipping. Uh, we need your phone number, and this order will be placed from B and H Photo, which is my favorite place to order photography gear. I love B and H Photo so much. Uh, what should we give away next? Uh, I think I'm excited to give away the hard drive. I think we should give away that hard drive. Maybe we keep the backpack for last. Okay, well, okay, how about this? How about this? I'm gonna go with the, uh, let's go with the super high quality SD card. And it, once again, this is a 128 gigabyte SD card and it, what makes it so expensive, this is a $190 card. It's the transfer speed of 300 megabytes per second. So um, I'm just getting into the, I'm spinning the wheel. Colette Demers, Colette Demers. If your name is Colette Demers or Demers, then uh, please put something in the chat. Let us know that you are still here. And uh, you just won an SD card, Colette, congratulations. So uh, email to support at timsphotos.com, subject line winner, and tell us what you won. Give us your address and give us your phone number. Colette, and do we have a Colette? Uh, Colette, we do, we do. Colette Deemers, I'm an explorer. One minute ago, what she didn't say. Colette, make sure you say I, I, I won. Say it. Tell us, tell us you won. Tell us you won, Colette. I just, she literally just put I'm an explorer in again. Oh, there she is, Colette Dreamers. Yeah, thank you. I'm here, Calgary. I need a new card. Congratulations, Colette. Is she from Calgary? That's what she said. All right. All right, let's go with the next one then. Uh, we're ready for the um, Samsung hard drive. 
And this is a portable hard drive from Samsung and it's one terabyte in size. This exact one saved my bacon when I was on a trip in the south of France in 2019. And uh, I had an, a, a mechanical style of portable hard drive to back up my photos when I was shooting the lavender fields and the horses of the Camargue and my backup hard drive, the, the mechanical one that's supposed to be military specs and you're supposed to be able to drive a tank over it and it'll still work. Well, it crashed. And so I only had all my photos only on the hard drive of my laptop. There I was in the south of France. So I went to the French equivalent of Best Buy and I bought one of these and uh, I'm just so sold on these, which is why I chose it for this draw. Uh, the value of this is about $130 from B&H Photo and someone's going to win it. Okay, uh, I've got the chat open and I'm about to spin the wheel. And I see a Richard Stone. Richard Stone, are you with us? Oh, sorry, Shore. Richard Shore. Richard Shore, are you with us, Richard? Say something, Michael. Is he with us? Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're Richard Shore. There's a uh, a delay on our in our feed here. Usually there he, there he is. There he is. There he is. He's here. Richard Shore is here. Okay, on Richard. YouTube. He's on YouTube. Okay, Richard, Richard, Richard you're I the winner won. of this Samsung portable hard drive. Please uh, create an email. Support at timsphotos.com. Subject line winner, and tell us what you won. We need your address and we need your phone number. Okay. Awesome. All right. All right, are we ready for for this? We are. Are ready. we ready? Okay. Now, before I give out the last name, um, we are going to give away the Twenty Nine Secrets book. And um, am I still sharing my screen? I just want to show you no, what the cover looks like, not. so you just know. You are not. Oh, I see what I got to do. I need to click over to here. There we go. And. Okay, I just want to show you this book, and there it is. So this is the book, 29 Landscape Photography Secrets You Must Know. Everybody is getting their own copy. The link is down below, and uh, maybe, Fernando, you can drop that link into the chat right now so that um, uh, we have a pretty much an instant download. So as soon as you put your name in, you'll receive an email within, within a few minutes. It'll give you a login and you'll be able to download your book right there from the dashboard inside your login. Sound good? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Okay, so let me get back to my chat just a second here. Get us back. And, and just so you guys know, we're gonna be wrapping this up here in just a second. So if you still, we're gonna keep the, as long as this webinar is live, we're gonna keep that $100 off on the special today. All you gotta do is click that link. I dropped it in there again. Um, I'm also dropping in the link again for those of you who wanna get the free gift. Okay. All right, I am spinning the mouse wheel on my big long list and here we are. Ah, no way. Mr. Louis Edwards. Louis is uh, a student in the fine art coaching program. Ah. And uh, yeah, he's been in photography academy for a long time. Louis, you have won this low pro powder backpack. And uh, this is, it's an awesome backpack. I think you're really going to like it. It holds a ton of gear. What I love about um, hiking style backpacks especially when you get uh, larger ones. And a lot of people are afraid to get kind of a larger one, but they often have kind of a collapsible top where you can shove a whole bunch of extra clothing, like all your jacket and everything down the top. And if you don't have the extra clothing, it's just all collapsed down inside. So it still fits inside a, an overhead bin on a commercial aircraft. So you can carry it as carry on luggage. But when you're on that long type of hiking trip, you can stuff just a lot of extra clothing inside here. Uh, you can even go on an overnighter if you really wanted to. And uh, I'm just a big believer in this type of thing. Also having really wide um, waist strap to actually carry the weight. So is Louis still with us? 
Uh, I didn't. I don't see him. I'm sure he. Well, I don't. I don't. Actually, he didn't respond yet. Oh wait, no, no, no. Wait, no, that's Luann. I don't see a response from Louis. Yet. Okay, I, I'm hearing from behind me. I'm here. He he did post okay. a link that says I'm here. Gonna... So yeah. congratulations, Louis. Uh, maybe just post one more time, Louis, just so that we can uh, absolutely see that you really, 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 really are here. And uh, if you could send an email in. Oh to... yeah, sorry. I just I just found him in Facebook. He yep. did. Okay. Yes, he said Great. I won. Yep, he said yes. Louis here. Yes, Louis here. <laughs> He's freaking okay. out a little awesome. bit. We're not gonna. You you win, Louis. You win. Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, if the masterclass is something that is interesting to you, if uh, if this is something that you feel that you need, uh, then I encourage you to take advantage of this one hundred dollars off here while we're still live with you, while the presentation is still going. Uh, the price is going back up to its regular website price of three ninety seven. This is a life changing program. It's taken me wow. It's it's decades of experience all packed into an easy to learn step-by-step -step system, just like a recipe. How many times have you used a recipe in the kitchen? If I handed you a recipe to bake a cake, could you bake a cake? If I handed you a recipe to make bread, could you make bread? The answer is yes, if you have the right recipe, the simple, easy to follow recipe. And that's what this masterclass is. It's a simple recipe with a big bundle of other tools that are going to help you out in such a big way. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, the pleasure is always ours as we get to watch you all grow with your photography. Uh, it's such a pleasure to see the improvement and the uh, just the pure excitement of those of you who are passionate about exploring, creating, and inspiring others. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us live. I have one little thing since uh, we still have 400 people who are live. I'm gonna let you in on one sneak peek announcement. I haven't told anybody this before, but in a week, we are holding our biggest event that we've ever held. It's called the One Photo Away Challenge. You are just one photo away of being able to take the photo of your dreams. It's a five day long challenge. It's free. Please watch your email and get ready for this event. It's gonna be five straight days of free training every day. Uh, something that we've never done before. And you are gonna come out the other end of that five day challenge knowing exactly what your photography goals are personally for you and knowing what the roadmap is to how you're going to get there. It's called the One Photo Away Challenge, five days long, it's free. It's happening in just over a week. We're gonna make a big announcement tomorrow. So you guys are the first to hear this. So I'll see you in the One Photo Away Challenge and for Everyone else, I hope that you'll join me on the uh, master class. It's a fantastic program, and I'll see you inside the Facebook group. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Yeah.